Hey everyone, the Game Chief here. Today I'm going to be doing a video on how to display the current player count on your Daisy standalone server every five minutes or so. The time frame really can be anything you want, um, but just for an example, we're going to be doing five minutes. And once again, I just want to state I am starting off where I left off my last Daisy video, so if you're confused, I highly recommend you start at the beginning of the series. There is a link in the video description, and there is a card on the right hand side of your screen right now. Um, you really just need a working server and Beck um, set up properly in order to do this, as this does use a Beck plugin to accomplish this. This video is broken up into three small parts. Timestamps are on screen right now. So part one is just going to be adding the Beck plugin to your server into your Beck instance. You're going to go to the second link in the description and it's going to go to this GitHub page. This is who the plugin is created by. They haven't really touched it in two years, but the plugin works just fine. It's pretty simple. It's functionality. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to look here. We'll go inside of this folder and then we're going to open up this init.py file or Python file. And then we're just going to go ahead and click raw right here. So it's going to give us raw data. And then we need to copy all this. So the easiest way, you hit Control A, highlights all of it, and then Control C or right click and then copy. So we've copied it all. And now we're going to go ahead and remote into our server. So we went ahead and remote it in. And then we're going to find our Beck instance. This Again, this tutorial assumes you already have Beck installed and set up working. So in our service folder, I have Beck. And then what we're going to do is we're going to see if you have a plugins folder inside of Beck. I have a plugins old from testing, but I didn't initially have one. So we're going to create one. So we're going to go ahead and create that folder and then we're going to go inside of it. And then we're going to go ahead and create another folder. And this is going to be the plugin name that this is. So this can be really anything you want. It could be complete gibberish. You could do that. But in this case, I'm just going to call it player account. So the player account plugin. We're going to go in there and then we're going to go ahead and create a new file. So we're going to right click new. And for example, I'm just going to click on text document to create this. And then what you need to do is underscore underscore. So two underscores, I N I T N it underscore underscore. And then it needs to be dot pi because it needs to be a, a Python file. Um, it's very important that you do it like this with the double underscores in it, double underscores, just like uh, this file name is right here. So it's double underscore, double underscore, and it dot pi. So it's very important we do that because that creates, um, so this file will be initialized when Beck launches. Um, now we're going to go ahead and edit this file to modify it. So in this case, I'm going to use my text editor, Adam. You can use Notepad++, doesn't really matter. So we have that open. And we're going to go ahead and paste everything that we copied there. And this is pretty self-explanatory how this works. It's a very, very simple Python plugin. Um, the interval is going to be how often it displays this message. Um, in my case, um, I'm going to leave it at one minute just for testing purposes so we can see it. Um, you can set this to say something more reasonable, like every five minutes, every 10, maybe every 15, whatever. It's really up to you. Um, and then you can change the message if you want. So in this case, this message will be displayed if there is only one person on. So I'll be like, I'm going to edit this a bit and say currently. So there is currently one player online. And if there's more than one, it will say um, there are, say there are currently, um, so there's five, five players online. And I'll go ahead and send it. Uh, the way this pro program works, or this Python script, I should say, it basically will check if there's no players right now it's not going to say anything it's not going to put anything in the chat it doesn't need to there's no point if there's one player it'll display this top message and then if there's more than one player it's going to say um, this message and it's going to autofill how many players are in right here so we can go ahead and save this and that's really done for implementation so we'll go ahead and close out of that and then now we're going to go ahead and launch our server and test it in game and make sure everything's working properly And as we see here, everything's launching and we see that it's starting. The plugin player count, that's what we called it. Um, version, we didn't specify a version in the plugin file, so it doesn't really know, which is fine. And everything's scheduled and everything's launched. It looks like everything's working properly. So we can go ahead and join our server and make sure everything's working properly. And so to join the server, we'll go ahead and open up Daisy Standalone Launcher again. 
We'll search for our server. There it is. And we'll go ahead and join. Alrighty, now that I'm in game, we're just gonna have to wait a moment for the minute to pass and oh, there we go. So it currently says that there is currently one player online and that is accurate. There's one person, if there's no one, it won't say anything. And if there's more, it will give us the other message. Uh, for example, we can do this and it will Yep, there it goes. So I went ahead and sent that through. So, you know, say if there's 50 people on, say there are currently 50 players on, so on and so forth. And it looks like everything's working properly. And that's basically it. It's a pretty simple setup. We added the back plugin, we tested, make sure everything's working. And it's just a little simple plugin that helps people know how many people are on the server without having to tap out to check or anything like that. And it's just kind of a convenient thing, very simple setup, and it's just good to go. There should be some more videos soon. I might have a video about common mistakes people make by waking, making their server, uh, how to add the banking add-on, some other things, all coming soon. Um, and if you guys have any video suggestions or mod setup videos you'd like to see, feel free to let me know. And other than that, have a great day. A pair of jeans, a shirt or two. We didn't pack as if we weren't and going back. Doesn't matter if it's true